everyone. Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year, <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now. To the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! Well, yeah. 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 Good job! Yeah. Lemon! Huh? Oh, what? It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there, soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Morag. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Blue. How are you? <laughs> Hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His garden is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Moray? M m m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, Custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right! There's something I forgot. 
I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh, I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what? What? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flop We've yes? got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You, you did that for me? Of course. Well, you want to help? That's and what friends, friends are for. for. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes, what can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure, um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> oh. Great bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet! I told Strawberry two weeks! Oh no, no! The marketplace isn't ready yet! There's no place to put all of you until it's finished! What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, no, 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 I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Oh. Well, that should do it. All righty, Earl, let's get everything cleaned up. Oops, <laughs> hey, I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable queue joint. <laughs> what was that? talking about? Were you eating toast? No, no, it attacked me. Oh, you were attacked by a piece of toast. Well, Ed, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened. I don't know how she can stand it. Who can stand what? Strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's, you know, haunted. Haunted. Haunted! There's no such thing, Earl. Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. 
You made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to go... Wait for me! You stay up there! <sighs> mm -hmm.